Hello, this is Wayne Barron from Dark Effects TV here to bring you another great tutorial. This one is to show you how to do or how to use the Paragon Backup and Recovery 2011 Advanced Free Copy. Now in the line of work that I am in, I always have to reinstall my system at least once or twice a month. Due to uh, corrupting the operating system, I do a lot of web design and uh, database work as well as video editing work and well that takes a toll on the system and so um, I have to reinstall a lot so instead of having to reinstall um, I was told about this program through a friend on the website Expert Exchange and uh, he highly recommended it so I gave it a shot and well it does exactly what he said it would do plus more so the first thing that we want to do here is that you want to always uh, make sure that you've got a CD to boot your system with. And we're going to create that CD by clicking on the Recovery Media Builder. Okay, once the dialog opens, uh, you can either create a CD, a DVD, or a USB flash drive. And in our case, we're just going to do a CD. So we're going to click on Next. Click on the CD, DVD. <coughs> click on next and just leave it at typical and then click on next again and then you choose uh, which drive that you want to burn it to and we're going to choose this one now i've already got this burned onto a cd so i'm not going to go through here so just click on this and then click on next and it will automatically burn the cd for you it doesn't matter if you got any a cd burner software on your computer this comes uh, with it installed on your system with this program okay now, what we want to do here is we want to create the backup of your operating system. So here we're going to click on Backup. Whenever the wizard loads, click on Next. Okay, now right here shows all of the drives that are on your computer. This right here is the main drive that's on my laptop and these are all the individual partitions. Okay, I do not want to in, uh, create a backup of the entire partition or the entire drive. I just want to create a backup of my master drive. So I'm going to click on first hard drive to track and then I'm going to click on local drive C. Now this right here is the master boot record and you want to make sure that it is checked. This way it keeps all of your partitions in line for whenever you restore your system. That way everything stays the same. Then you click on next. You have a choice of either saving the data to a local drive or to an FTP drive, a CD, DVD, or Blu-ray disc drive. And in this case we're going to save data to the local network drive. Click on next. And now here we're going to click on uh, where we want to save it to. I've already got a place to save it to, so we're going to click on here. And I've already saved this, so what we're going to do is we're going to click on Next. And then we're going to choose Backup now and click on Next. And then make sure that everything is the way it's supposed to be, and it is. So then we click on Next again. And then this right here will tell you that the wizard did not commit the changes and that it will only commit the changes once you click on the apply button and that is after we finish the wizard. Okay now there's a little dialogue that will appear here and but I've checked it not to show it so but it will show you to click the apply to make the changes. So click on apply and then as you can see it loads this dialog box which is uh, showing that it is getting or in the process of backing up your operating system. So until uh, that time we will be right back. And here we can see that the process is completed successfully and out of a, over nine and a half gigs of used space on my C drive the approximate archive was compressed to 5.5 gigabytes. And so we click on close, and then that right there concludes the backup part of the Paragon recovery. And now the next section uh, is the recovery, and so we will see you there.
I know it's kind of blurry here, but you should be able to read this. It shows normal mode, and that's what we're going to choose. It takes several minutes for this area to load. Once it loads, you come to a blank screen that just has the Paragon logo up top. The screen will stay on for about a minute or so, depending on your processor speed and memory. Then you will be faced with the Paragon menu. Here we're going to choose the Simple Restore Wizard. On this section we are going to uncheck the search dialog and then click next. Search image, we are going to click the little ellipse button. We are going to go to the drive, in our case it is going to be the F drive. We are going to choose the OS backup or archive folder and then the very first archive, the PBF file. Then we're going to click on next. Click on next again and here we got to make sure that our drive letters match up all the way through. This is on a, uh, a multiple partition. Click on next. And this right here is going to take several minutes. Uh, could take anywhere depending on your drive size. Could take anywhere between 8 minutes all the way up to probably about maybe 30 minutes. To restore your system. Once the system is completed restoring, it will show you the time elapsed and show you that it has finished and then click on the close button. Then click on finish and then here click on reboot your computer. Thank you very much and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial.